everybody. This is Emmanuel Young, and I am the host of the Chosen Generation TV show. I am here. I'm so excited. Um, you're with an exclusive interview, a very personal interview with the cast, y'all, of Chrissy from the makers of the Hush series from Praise Academy in Barbados. I tell you, it's going to be an awesome interview. I'm so privileged and honored to be here because they were just premiering their movie. I'm talking about in Manhattan at the Tribeca Film Festival. I am so, so, so excited. How's everybody feeling about that? Good. Hey, you feeling good about that? Yeah. Got a movie out. <laughs> <laughs> you have a movie out. And you know what? Let's, let's just like introduce everybody to the cast real quick. Let's start with you. Can you tell everybody your name? Okay, I'm Michaela Harrison and I play Chrissy in the movie. And yourself? I'm Janet O'Donnell and I play, um, well actually her mother, Melissa. <laughs> Melissa's mother. I play Linda Edgehill. My name is Cara O'Donnell, and I play Melissa Echeo, Chrissy's best friend. And yourself? My name is Kiara Smith, and I play Cara. <laughs> My name is Javal Smith, and I play Bully Number 2. <laughs> Bully Number 2, I like that, I like that. <laughs> My name is Kyra Morrow, and I play Moesha. My name is Jane McCauley, and I played Rashida, Bully Number 1. Wow, Rashida, everybody, I liked her character. I liked her character a lot. She she put the B in bully. <laughs> so now let me let me just I just want to ask everybody real quick. You know, um, just take some time to ask everybody how how was it making this movie? You know, you know how did you feel? And she said, you know what? Did it ever hit you like you know? Wake up in the morning. Hold up, I'm in a movie. I'm doing this. You know, I'm doing this. You know, let's, let's start with you, Miss Bully. <laughs> shooting um, but it was a lot of, it was very interesting mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, it ended up being a lot of fun. And how about you? Well, it was really shocking and I was really nervous because I had never been in a movie and then I was a lead character so I was really nervous but after a while I kind of, it just not like I made out in a movie, I have to Brush up my hands, so I learned my lines, and everything, and I felt better. Wow. So, hey, so everybody, you know, I know everybody's watching this right now, but we really need to tell the world how old you guys are. You know, I know you, you, you introduced yourself, you gave your, you gave your name, but you know, everybody's watching, and they can see. Hold up, you know, these young ladies are, are pretty young. You know, they're pretty young. Can you just let everybody know, just real quick, how old are you? Eleven. And you? Eleven. Thirteen. Uh-huh. Eleven. Eleven. Nine. Wow. I'm sorry, everybody. I know you're watching. I know we're having this interview. But I am just that much more proud of you guys that you have done a movie and everybody 
is literally under the age of 13 in this movie. Besides mama. <laughs> Thank you for asking. <laughs> but let me ask you this, you know, let me ask you this question. What was the hardest, you know, scene for you to do in the movie, Chris? Um, the hardest scene was when I got lashes. Because the terrorists were coming and they had to throw all sorts of stuff. We were crying about onions. Wow. They made me stare for a long time. Mm -hmm. And then in the end, I just had to go really deep in my personal life. And then I just started to cry. So they didn't have to do any of that stuff anymore. But it was always the hardest to me because I was overthinking it in the beginning. So it was. Wow. Wow. You know, and, and how about for you? What was your hardest scene? To play? Um, I guess it was the scene where they were making me answer wrong answers, the zoning scene. Because I knew every last one of those answers and they made me answer them wrong. <laughs> I was like, I was supposed to act like. But you know what they say, though? You know, a lot of actors and actresses out there, they're really geniuses and really, really brilliant. And to play a role that causes them to come down, it really takes a lot of intelligence to do that. Because you got to hold back. You got to really, really hold back. And for you to have done this. Now let me ask, let me ask you guys some questions, okay? Playing the scene of being, especially the bullies, all right? Did you enjoy being, especially when you the scene where you sat on the boys and had to come after them. Did you did part of you kind of enjoy being a bully at that at that, at that scene? Um, yes. <laughs> because, because I got to take a bite of the mango. <laughs> <laughs> because I got to take a bite of the mango. You know, but have you, let me ask you this, you know, playing the role of a bully, have you ever saw that in your own school and experienced that? No, because you don't play games, right? <laughs> <laughs> How about you? Uh, it was not hard. No. But I sometimes I see bullying in my class. Yeah. Not really in my whole school. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let, let me ask you, let me ask you this, you know, doing the movie, the scene that you were walking, both of you guys were walking, and you saw the bull. Was that bull really there? Yeah. Did yes. you really have to pass the bull? Yeah. How did you feel when you had to pass the bull? I was not scared. You I were scared? I was not scared. It's just like, we had to act so. I, like, I was like, I was not scared. And I was like laughing a few parts. And so I, when I just saw, I saw the bull, right? And when I looked at it, I just started laughing. Because I was like, how am I supposed to be frightened for this? And it just, it just makes me laugh. Wow. So I didn't have to put it together and person. So have you ever had to stick up for what was right in real life, you know, at school and say, no, 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 certain things are not right. I really have to stick up for this. I know what's right. And I'm going to speak out. Yeah, especially with my friends. Yeah? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. You know, and that, I, to me, I liked your character mm -hmm. because she knew what was right and she stuck up for it. Mm -hmm. She knew what was right. So, Ma, <laughs> you know, you play Melissa's mom, mm -hmm. you know, and, and at first it was kind of hard. Melissa came to you and she told you about a friend of hers, you know, and, 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 and she gave you the report of what everybody says about her friend in school, mm -hmm. that they call her stinker group, right? right? That, was, that was the name. That they said, and you know, as you're going to replay everything that happened in school, what would have you ever been faced with ever kind of misjudging? Because at first, your character didn't really quite understand. You just wanted your child to focus mm -hmm. and do her best stay and, and stay out of trouble. Right. Everything's going to be better. Don't worry about it. If nobody don't like you. You just stay focused. Right. But have you ever came had a situation like that? You that was kind of similar to the character that you played in the movie that you kind of may have misjudged the situation? 
Uh, yes, when I was in college, um, there was a lady that was in one of my classes, mm -hmm. and she didn't dress very nice, and she smelled bad. Mm -hmm. And um, she was an older student, so she was a middle-aged lady, and um, you know, just kind of got shunned by a lot of, of, of the students. And I got to know her, and she she told me the reason why. She said, "I knew you wouldn't ask, but the reason why I smell this way is that I have three children, and my husband left me." and we're in a house and you can't afford the water to turn on. Okay. So only my children, I, I get give them all the, you know, the soap, they take the baths, whatever, you know. And so sometimes I don't have any, you know, I don't have washing my, their clothes, my clothes, trying to get it. So really made me go, you know, it's not just like in the situation where everyone goes, oh, she stinks, not realizing that this isn't a choice she's making. This is a situation that she's dealing with. So, you know, I, so this really, so you know when you when you when you when you were, when you were doing the movie, and one of the scenes within the movie is when you dropped Chrissy home. You finally came to our home, and she said to you, "Come and meet my mom." Mm -hmm. You know, you know. I know when you looked at it. How did you feel about that? When I was doing the scene, or yeah. when, when I you were doing after? the scene. I, I, t in order to do that scene right, um, I think I just thought about what it would be like. Both of them are, are single moms, mm -hmm. you know, and I think every single mom, every mom's fear is that you're somehow not going to be able to take care of your kids properly. Wow. And that would be something that would reverberate across my character and Chrissy's mother's character, you know, that we're both moms trying to make it and seeing, wow, here's my worst fear and understanding where she's coming from. Wow. Wow, awesome, awesome. Well, you know what? We're going to have some more of this interview when we get right back to you. If at 10 years old, you were so poor, that everyone rejected you. Chrissy, go to your seat at the back of the class, please. Did I not tell you I don't want to see you back in this office? Carry those things and put them right back. You know what they tell you? Don't play with her. With the pressure at home of an ailing mom. I want all of you to my house today. A bully that is totally out of control. Hey. Touch your apple. Give it. And no friends at school. Will you stop it? Can there be a future? Well, meet Chrissy White, a courageous little girl who will not take no for an answer. Transparent objects allow all of the light to pass through it, but translucent objects only allow some of the light to pass through it. Correct. Yes! Chrissy is really very good, and she deserves a chance. Exactly which Chrissy are you speaking to? Through determination, oh, father. inspiration, and faith, Chrissy is determined to push past every obstacle and run all the way into her life of purpose and destiny. You, I'm gonna call the school and make sure you never teach anywhere again. Shut up! Chrissy, a movie for the entire family, coming to a cinema near you. Hey everybody, we are back. We are back with the awesome, I tell you, awesome and talented young cast <laughs> of Chrissy from the makers of the Hush series of Praise Academy in Barbados. Oh my goodness, we just have a wonderful time just talking basically about their experiences and different scenes that happened within this film. You know, um, this past Friday, you guys were, you know, uh, having a screening of your film at the Tribeca Film Festival. Now, this is just for anybody. How did you feel about that? In fact, I'm gonna ask you, how did you feel? You, 
You was at the Tribeca Film Festival. I felt famous. You felt famous? <laughs> <laughs> and they had a red carpet. Ooh. Oh my goodness. And how did you feel, sweetheart? I felt famous. I felt awesome. I felt like a movie star. I felt like a pop star. I felt like, <laughs> I felt like if this was my name. Oh, wow. Famous. And how about you, sweetheart? How did you feel? Honestly, I felt overwhelmed. I was just happy and joyful. And joyful. And how about you, sweetheart? How did you feel? I was so excited. <laughs> I'd never been to New York before and I was on a red carpet mm -hmm. and I was just, and they were having interviews and radio things, uh -huh. so many different things. I was, I was overwhelmed. <laughs> and how about you, sweetheart? I was excited. I was, I was excited. I was really overwhelmed. That I was happy about it. I was nervous as well. Of how they react to it, and um, all the time I was doing, I was thinking, please let some famous director walk through that door now. Please, please. please. <laughs> and then, but it was really good. I was uh, happy at the response we got. It was really good. And how do you feel, Janice? Being on there. Um, it was just amazing. Um, the, there was a lot of build up beforehand, and to actually be there was really exciting. And there were, we had a lot of people who came out. Every, we had a really good response. And, but what was the prep for you guys? How did, you know, you know, everybody said, okay, you know, I was overwhelmed, but how did you pick your outfits? You know, because I know you guys came out looking <laughs> cute. Yeah. <laughs> so how was that? How was getting everybody's outfits together? Because I know we know about the move, but you know you had to look good. Well, let me tell you, these guys know a lot about looking good. They were they they were very much self done. They 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 did their nails oh, and yes. oh yeah, we had a whole nail thing going on in here. Awesome. And uh, they had their hair all, all beautiful and all their, picked out their dresses and we had them all ready for that. Was there anything special that happened that evening that just really, like, you know, that you could really remember from that Friday? Well, well the ending, mm -hmm. when those, and they saw the kids, the cast came out and we saw the news, and then everybody started to clap and whoop and it was so... Just it felt really good on the inside that everybody understood what we were trying to point we were trying to get across. Not just enjoyed it and laugh and cry, but understood what we were trying to say and that the word got out and when they clapped and cheered and whooped it was and just to hear the response coming from them, it sounded it made me feel so good inside. Now, I have fun. Well, my auntie came from New Jersey, uh -huh. and I felt really good because I had somebody to support me from another country. Yeah. <laughs> country I'm in the state, and somebody had to make it That's so beautiful. That's so beautiful. Um, it was like everybody, everybody got a message. Uh -huh. So I was like very happy that everybody got the message and I was like, just all oh, these people interviewing me, it felt like if I was like on top, it felt like <laughs> on night, that night, it felt awesome, but it's got a message got out and everybody recognized, everybody recognized what we were trying to put out, mm -hmm. it was good. Awesome, awesome. Wow. So. Let me ask you this. Now that when it comes to the production side of everything, getting everything together, we know that, you know, you, you did things in three weeks. You know, it was mm -hmm. it was crunch. You know, it, it, literally, time is money. Yes. You know, um, getting everything together, being up at the crack of dawn, you know, going to bed late. You know, but seeing, how about, you know, seeing the director, the producers at work, you know. Uh, I know Marcia, you know, she... With which everybody, I believe, which she's the director, mm -hmm. director, writer, of, producer, director, and writer, producer. Talk about a woman is a triple, quadruple threat. <laughs> she's doing it. Uh, she's doing it. You know, how so was it seeing her just move and working with her? You know, while doing this. 
Uh, her whole family is very involved. Um, Dave, Dave, she and Dave are produced, produced together, step-by-step -step productions. And uh, her oldest son, Dan, um, is interested in film too. Her middle son, Mark Hurd, was there working on the production. And um, Josh, her youngest son, is in the movie. Um, so they, they just, they, as hard as we worked, they worked twice as hard. And uh, they were always there, and they were so, even though they had so many things going on, they were very much take the time out and make sure, you know, everything's going the right way, everybody's okay, you've got food to eat, you know, you're eating a drink, you're tired, you know. So they're just very hands-on and um, very much not, we didn't feel like we were under the gun. Very good. Um, even though we knew that the cameras were, you know, the, the, as you said, the clock was running, but, yes. uh, but we never felt like they were behind us cracking the whip. It was pulling us along and helping us out. Wow. And the message within this movie, you know, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Mm -hmm. You know, um, many times in our, in our faith we, we quote scriptures and, uh, or we might have heard our parents say it over and over again, so we remember it. But did that scripture, you know, from, from doing the movie and saying it over and over again, did that finally become real in your life? Have you ever taken that scripture and said, you know what, I really can do all things through Christ? Have you been faced with, with any situations that caused that particular scripture to come out in your life? Anybody? It was when I was out with my family and my cousin's friend mm -hmm. came over and like my friend and I, my cousin and I were doing something and then she was like, I can do it better, I can do it better and you all can't get it due, right? And, I, and then I told her that we can do all things through Christ who gives us strength. Mm -hmm. And then like, next time I met her with them, we were doing it better than her and she was like, she was crying and she was like, I can't get it soon. My mom was not able to come because um, she was had her exams because she's studying law oh. and she felt overwhelmed because she was sad. She has to go to work yeah. and she has to take care of me also mm -hmm. and she doesn't get a lot of time to study yeah. as much. So I always go to take care of my mom sometimes because she takes care of me. And I wanted to feel special, so I met her because I know she's feeling a bit down. And I told her that she could do all things to her so And I always tell her that all the time. In my 11th class examination, at first I was scared, and then I said the scripture about two times. And then when I got inside, it was the mass was challenging, but the rest was easy.
Are you ready? Let's go. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome back. Welcome back. I tell you, it has been an awesome, awesome interview. You know, girls, I need to ask every, every one of you guys, you know, I know your actresses now you're doing awesome things. You want to try back a full festival yes. movie is out. <laughs> All right. I know your parents and family are proud of you. I'm proud of you. Okay. Because you're in the kingdom of God. I'm proud of you. All right. I'm your sister in Christ Jesus. But can you tell everybody, what do you want to be when you grow up? I need to get that from everybody. Um, I want to be a lot of things. But I the most, the most, the two things that I really want to be is um, a professional dancer, uh -huh. a real, a real professional dancer, and a super, 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 super actress. Awesome. <laughs> How about you, sweetheart? Um, I want to be a pediatrician or a midwife, okay. and then later, later down the line, when I get through the training and stuff like that. I really want to be an actress, a popular one. Oh, <laughs> well, there's more than one. First, I would like to be an actress. Uh -huh. I would like to be a professional dancer. I would like to, be, I would like to teach children at Prince Academy of Dance or Middles. Yes. And I would like to be a professional singer. Wow. <laughs> You'll be an entertainer, girl. I like that. How about you, Scott? I would like to be a pediatrician. I also want to be well the arts like singing and dancing and actress being an actress but people tell me all the time that i can't do it but i tell you with god all things are possible that i can you know do both at, at one time so that's what i'm trying to do mm -hmm. i want to be a businesswoman an awesome actress and i want to sing for the lord Major pediatrics, and I'm going to be an actress, and a part time popular adult singer. Wow. Wow. Oh my goodness. You guys, you have such mm -hmm. bright futures ahead of you. And you're young, doing awesome things for God. But can you tell everybody, where can, you know, everybody is, is, is on this Chrissy buzz. They, the, 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 the I look at it as not just a movie, but a movie too, because the message is that powerful. You know, how can everybody over here get to see the movie and look out for everything? Okay, well, you can go online and purchase tickets at chrissylinden.eventbrite.com mm -hmm. and it's showing at the Linden Multiplex Cinema at 7 o'clock p.m. and oh, one day. it's on this Thursday mm -hmm. at 7 o'clock. And you can also follow us on Facebook and please like and comment. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. I tell you, everybody, this has been an awesome, awesome interview. And just to know, everybody, you know, you can be young and do awesome things for the Lord. Chrissy. Chrissy, the film Chrissy, is an awesome, awesome movie. This young lady has so much courage and her faith in God. That, that kept pushing her on, saying that I'm, I'm going to rise above any type of obstacles, any type of pressure, because I know that I can do all things through Christ. That strengthens me. Powerful, powerful message. And everybody, you remember, you're chosen, you've been called out to stand out.